Hi guys, so I've got something to show you today. This is a PCM2704. This is a USB DAC. So what's great about the PCM2704 is that it's got its own built-in USB interface. So that means that you can plug it into a computer and it will be able to communicate. It also has its own USB protocol uh, descriptors. So it's a, a USB HID device. That means Windows will, Windows in fact, uh, Macs and even Linux will recognize it as an audio device. Now this will work in 424.1 kilohertz. It'll also work in 48 kilohertz as well. So you've got, you've got options about the level of quality that you want to get from your audio or the samples that you want to play. Now I've hooked it up via uh, a PAM 8403 amp so I can play it through some speakers, but you can also have it as a headphone interface. So just rip that amp out and then it's powerful enough to drive a set of headphones. So all I need to do is plug the device in click play on some audio, and then we get some wonderful little, is this sort of jazz or something? The quality is great. I'm getting a little bit of interference on these because I've got wires flying everywhere. So there's gonna be some kind of uh, noise getting through. And it's also breadboarded, which isn't ideal. Let's just stop that. So if we look in the devices on the computer, you can see that it's detected as speakers, USB audio DAC default device. We can have a look at the properties and we can see that we can select these options here. So we've got 32 uh, kilohertz, we've got 44.1 and 48 we can select. They're all 16 bit. The circuit I'm using is straight from the data sheet. So here's the data sheet here. We can see that it has got various details about uh, having a bus powered application. So this one is bus powered, so I'm feeding the PAM8403 from the USB uh, supply, but it's also powering the device itself. You can have battery powered devices, which are less noisy than the USB line. So if I jump down to the circuit schematic that we're using at the moment, it's this one here, uh, the typical circuit connection one example of a USB speaker. Now they're using one of the TPA amplifiers, but I'm just chosen a uh, PAM8403 because it's what I've had to hand. And they also sound pretty good. Uh, so you'll need a, uh, a 12 megahertz crystal. There's various capacitors and resistors. Some of the ones that I didn't have were the um, one microfarad thin film, uh, or is it multi-layer, multi-layer capacitors. I didn't have any of those and I had to order some in, but everything else I did have. They're quite common components. You've got uh, capacitors for your crystal, you've got 100 microfarad electrolytic, you've got uh, mega, 1 meg resistor, you've got 22 ohm resistors, 1.5k. They're not, com they're not um, uncommon components, so it's really easy to get started with this. And as you can see from the schematic here, there's not an awful lot of components to go in this, so it's easy to create your own. Now one of the difficulties with this chip is that it's in such a small package, it's in an SSOP uh, 28 pin package. So I've picked up one of these adapters that you can plug into the breadboard and they're really, really useful and easy to solder as well. So you've got normal separated pitch uh, along the edges there and you've got your, your chip that sort of just goes in the center. So it breaks out all of the 28 pins. Now you can buy these if you want to, already made. So this is a PCM2706, I think or a very similar chip if it's not that exact one. Now this is just a USB sound card. It has a uh, it has mic in and it has audio out. So the PCM2704 doesn't have um, an input, it's only got outputs. So this one is a bit different, but it, if you wanna make your own, then it's, uh, it's a little bit more fun. These are really cheap though. You can pick them up for about $3 to five pounds, something like that. I've chosen to make one because I've got a Raspberry Pi Zero, which doesn't have the appropriate things to get audio out in a very easy way at least. So I wanted to be able to use USB. Um, so I thought I'd make one. And it is really, really simple to do. You can see there aren't many components on the boards here. And it's all sort of through hole stuff that you can do this with, apart from having to grab an adapter. And it's quite a lot of fun just to play around with this and hear the music come out from your PC onto a board that you've created. Now I've got some fairly crappy speakers here. Um, they don't kick out a lot of sound. They're not taking advantage of what the PAM8403 can do. And if I had larger drivers, then it would sound a lot better, it'd sound a lot clearer, much less tinny, and it wouldn't vibrate on the, the desk so much. So we're gonna 3D print an enclosure for some larger speakers that I've ordered. I think they're only uh, 
four inches. They're not they're not massive, but they're much bigger than these, and they will sound a bit deeper. They'll have a, a fuller range to them. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'll keep you guys informed.